put your hands together for God, if he's given you anything, if he's let you feel his presence, if he's filled you with his spirit, if he's washed away your sin, we should give time and some effort to praising God right now for just a moment. Praise God. Praise God. to raise your hands in the house of God right now close your eyes you're safe in here no one's gonna tackle you no one's gonna pick your pockets we raise our hands and seeking the Lord as the Bible says to raise holy hands without wrath and doubting knowing that God is here removing the anger frustration of your day our days are full of conflict and anxiety and stress, but this is the sanctuary. Sanctuary means refuge. Right now you're standing in the refuge of God. If you didn't notice, I have been getting on these kids more about playing in this sanctified area of God. This is God's holy place. This is the sanctuary. It's not a playground. Now that I know you better, and now that I know your kids better, I'm going to start getting on them. Look, you can't do that in this place because this is the house of God. This is to be respected and to give reverence to. That's why we don't eat Big Macs while we're having church. and That's why we don't have soda pops and potato chips like if we're watching a movie. This isn't a movie. This is reality. This is life. We worship the one that gave us life. So right now, we're going to take that time to close our eyes and seek his face. To be close to him. To be next to him. We talked about a dimension last week. I watched a little bit of the video and it was exciting to see God give me that revelation as I spoke. It wasn't in my notes. It wasn't a part of the sermon it was just God speaking through the prophet saying look I'm here and we got to connect with him in this place oh Jesus I love you I feel the power of God just when a few come together in agreement oh Ooh, I feel some power today. I've got some healing in my throat. Got my voice back. I can talk a little normal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know it's raining outside and feels a little gloomy, but I'm in the place where there's light. Light that's brighter than the sun. Oh, I love that light that's of God. I want to be in that glorious, marvelous light. you are that you can worship him freely that you have liberty to speak his name there are places where they wish they could speak the name of Jesus but today we can say it all day long we can walk down the street saying Jesus 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 and no one can stop us no one can say a word it's not illegal it's not gonna bring harm it's not gonna bring person Jesus 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 I love you I worship you I praise your name I call on you Jesus know there are some that wish they could say that name in public. Jesus. I'm going to utilize my freedom. Jesus. Jesus. That name means something. That, that name has power. Jesus. Oh. Jesus. 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 I never get tired us. <laughs> 
I want us to prepare ourselves for an awesome service where God is going to do something. I want us to come with an expectation that God is here and ready to do his will in our lives. Praise God. I thank you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. something that I want to ask of the Lord. I want you to give protection to the saints. Not just the children, but the parents, the adults, the saints of God. Put a hedge of protection around them that they might find peace, joy, long-suffering, faith, temperance, goodness. Lord, right now, I, I just feel the unction to ask you to hear the prayer of the saints. There are prayers that are going up to you in the house of God and in their homes at home. They're, they're asking you, Lord, for things in their lives. Many of them are repentant, baptized, and have the Holy Ghost. They're your children, God. Oh, I call on you. I thank you right now, God. For all the people that have been baptized in Jesus' name in this place. For all the people that have received the Holy Ghost. Uh, those wonderful miracles. I'm so grateful. Thank you, God. I'm so thankful for those that are getting baptized on Sunday. Tyranny and Anne both are getting baptized in Jesus' name. They both have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. God bless them and keep them and guide them into your truth through your spirit. There's a couple others that are supposed to get baptized. Sam is supposed to get baptized. I saw her the other day. Her friend, Diasha, is supposed to be baptized. Praise God. Nikki's supposed to be baptized in Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus. I see revival on the way. I see revival on the way. See, the fact is, revival has never left this place since the onset of our first service. We've been on a way, on a mission, on a, on a, on a journey, on a vision, on a pass, passage. Yes. Praise God. Just put all things behind you. Forget about your busy day. Forget about the fact your boss yelled at you today. Forget about the fact that you've got bills and, and you've got to go home and organize your house and clean things that haven't been cleaned. And forget about all that for the next hour and a half. Enjoy your time in the sanctuary, in the place of refuge. Enjoy your space and time here for the next short time. Hallelujah. I'm so excited about this weekend right now. I'd like to take a moment to pray for the passage of our, our, our evangelists that are coming. Brother uh, Alan Harris, who is my pastor, and, and Brother 
uh, Larry Flannery, who is the district superintendent. Lord God, guide their travels. They call me today and say they're ready to go. God bless them as they make their way to New Mexico from Texas. Guide their travels. Guide their, their ability to be safe and protected. Bring them here, Lord God, because we're here ready to receive them in revival. We're ready to receive them to have a Holy Ghost showdown in the Lord, in the house of God. We're ready, God. We're ready, God. We're ready. There is a buzzing going on in this church over the weekend's festivities. Bless them and bless us. Anoint those men with a message for the church. Anoint those men to give us what we need. That's what an evangelist does. Bless us, God. Saturday, we're supposed to have people from four churches in this place. Praise God, I've talked to Brother Mark Lilly. He's intending on coming. I talked to Dominic. Dominic is intending on coming. He's the pastor of uh, uh, Living Proof Church. If he comes, there's a good chance Jimmy and his wife will come. Praise God. We've got Brother Nathan Begay from the 12 Church Reservation Alliance. <laughs> Praise God. They're on their way on Saturday. And we've got people from Calvary Apostolic coming. I'm a little scared, church. We might not be able to fit everybody. Some of y'all might be standing in the altar during the whole service. Some of y'all might be standing in the back during the whole service. But I'll tell you what, I'd rather stand and jump and shout unto the Lord. I don't think I'm going to need a seat on Saturday night. Woo! Praise God. If that's what we got to do, I don't care. We have the people standing in the aisles. We're just going to have revival. In Jesus' name, why don't we give one more clap onto the Lord. Praise God. If I could have the praise singers come, please. I beg of you, I don't know why I'm begging, I don't have to beg, you're so willing to come and give of your time during practice. I want you to know as they make their way to the platform that these people that you're looking at take extra time out of their week, extra time out of their week to come learn the songs, to come and, and, and find a way to be a part of the service and worship. Find dedication in living for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They give of themselves for you. So I think that if they're going to sing and if they're going to come and spend all this time, that we as a people should get behind the, the, the worship team, don't you think? I'm glad one person agrees with that. Let me try that again. If all these wonderful people are going to come to spend the time to present an apostolic presentation yeah. of worship in this place, that we as a church should get behind the worship, not just for God, but for those that work so hard to bring a move of God, we need to participate in the movement of the Spirit. Let's entertain God for a while.
worship. Blessed be the name. trying to keep you awake. I don't know who did it, but that's all right. Listen to the words of this song. Oh, lift the words. Here we go. Let the children sing a song of liberation. The God of our salvation set us free. Death is thy sin. The curse of sin is broken. Alive, alive, 
Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Oh, they listen good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I only ask you that because I want you to save a little bit. You know, I'm just going to tell you right now, before we go into this next song, we have yet, we have yet to give this song its due. We have yet to worship and praise to the level of what this song is about. Now we play freedom up here on the video and we'll go crazy. But this is the same concept. Yes. You are free. You are free yes. to run. You don't have to run, you get to run. Yes. You don't have to dance, you get to dance. You got the opportunity because of God to do these things. Oh my God. I want to know if we can actually, actually give God his due. Now listen, before we go. The first part when I, I, I do this intentionally, and you have yet to pick up on it, and, and, and we're going to get there, because in my heart I'm jumping and exploding every time we do it. See, the first time we sing it through, it's quiet. I am free to run. But then the second time through, we explode. At least we do. I'm waiting for you to join us. When we hear that part, the second part, when we go through it again, it's awesome. It's power. It's real. And we need to do it. We need to follow it. We need to live it in Jesus' name. I feel it coming.
set free. Who the Son set free is free indeed. You don't have to worry in Jesus' name. Who the Son set free is free indeed. Yes, one more time. Who the Son set free is free indeed. I am free to run. I Come on, somebody, my God. broken I'm sorry I'm not done yet the Holy Ghost. I'm sorry. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. I feel the power of God in this place. This is the power that brings freedom. This is the power that sets you free. And when the Son sets you free, when Jesus sets you free, you are free indeed. I believe that's the first time Woo. we came close to giving that song justice. Praise, Praise the Lord. I love that. Yeah. You know why I love that song? Because when we're singing it, we're singing about me. Yeah. We're singing about me. When I, that's why I get excited because I'm free today. Yeah. I can run. I can shout. Uh, I can live life without drama and illness and sickness and death. Yeah. And sin is gone from my life. Praise God. I'm about to get on some of y'all still in your seats. These little kids know what to do. They're simple to them. Oh, we're going to shout. Oh. Some of us need to get a little drunk like these kids. They're just, oh. Oh, I like to be liberated. I've been liberated by God. I've got freedom. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. I almost started up again. If it was Sunday, I would have. But I want, I want you to save some of your strength. I said that right. I want you to save some of your strength. <laughs> we got a long weekend coming. But I don't know about you, but when I get in front of the Holy Ghost, I don't care how tired I am. I don't care how sick I am. I don't care how bad a day it's been. When I come in this presence, in this atmosphere, oh, I feel good. Oh, I feel good. Praise God. I feel so good right now. Who needs drugs? I got the Holy Ghost. Who needs alcohol? I 
got the Holy Ghost. I don't need, who needs pills? Who needs heroin? Who needs cocaine? Who needs marijuana? I got the Holy Ghost. I don't need those things. I don't need all that. What I got's better. No hangovers. And best of all, it's free. I get to keep my money in my bank account. I get to keep my job, my wife, my kids. Oh, praise God. Don't worry, brother. I ain't preaching. <laughs> Elliot's preaching tonight. I don't want him to think I'm taking it. It's yours. I'm not going to let you sit down either. You can sit down if you want to, but I'm, I'm standing. Y'all can stand. <laughs> praise the Lord. But if you want to be seated, you may. Praise God. Only if you're going to get up later while the brother's preaching and get to your feet and get behind him and clap and shout. When he says something that's real, you stand up and clap. Don't just clap from your seat. You don't have to sit down and stand up and stand up and clap. But we like that, huh, brother? Brother Crutcher, we like it when they stand up and clap. We, we, that don't bother us. That just gets us excited. You ain't going to interrupt us. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to calm down now a little bit anyway. I'm going to try. Is anybody excited about Saturday? Yeah. You know what? It's funny. Is we preached last week about the love bug and how we need to love. You kids need to go sit down now. Yo, go. Go sit down. Roll over there if you have to. She's a holy roller. She's rolling all the way over there. <clears throat> we talked about having that love, that excitement for the, for the sin. You know what? The truth is, is doing wrong feels good. When you're doing something, it almost has that excitement because you know it's wrong. And you have the excitement about getting involved in it. Well, I dare say that we need to switch that excitement to doing wrong to be excited about doing right. And how good it feels to do the right thing at the right time. Amen. Praise God. I'm, I'm, I'm only saying this because this Saturday is so exciting to me. It reminds me when I was younger going to the nightclubs and I couldn't wait to get out into the action. I couldn't wait to get, to get in the car, get dressed, put on my nice clothes and think I'm looking cute. And, and, you know, put the little, I had hair there, you know, put the slick in my hair and, you know, combing it back and think I'm looking, mm, making that face. And put on my cowboy boots and stroll into the club. And I couldn't wait to get, I couldn't wait till that time came. But now I feel that way towards God. I can't wait to go home, take a shower, put on a nice suit, and come up into the house of God with the power of the Lord and wait for God to do his thing in the house. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry I'm rambling about it, but I just, oh, I love my new life. Can you tell? I love living this life. I wouldn't trade this life for nothing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, you may be seated now. I'm going to be quiet. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, y'all, If y'all didn't come Wednesday for Bible study, y'all missed it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, th it was like a service. <laughs> I felt the anointing of God come upon me. We, saw, we were talking about the oneness of God. And the scripture is so clear that it became like an anointing of excitement. Just telling the people who were here about it. Uh, if you don't understand the difference between the oneness of God and other descriptions of God, then you need to come and get ready for that Bible study. We're teaching it for three weeks, maybe four. And we're going to review what we did last week. So you need to come so that you will know God better. You don't really know God unless you know how to be one with him. The Bible says all over the scripture, the description of God is one. One, 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 one. So we teach the oneness of God. Yes. That's Bible. Yes. That's Bible, period. Praise God. I want you to come so that you can know him. If you know him, then you can be intimate with him. Who here wants to be intimate with God? Yes. Oh, there's something that happens when you get intimate with God. Hallelujah. Special prayer request for brother and sister Silversmith, Steve Yoder, Sammy Sandoval, Robbie Sandoval, sister Rochelle. Where is she at? She went to pick up bread. Is she coming? Praise God. Uh, Sister Rochelle for her ear. Sister Carol and Brother Todd Fox and family. Uh, I'm going to put on there Bo and his family as well. Glenn and all, Justina. All. We need to pray for all those people. Praise God. Um, 
I don't have to tell you about Saturday and Sunday. You know it by now. If you don't, then you've been going to another church because we talk about it. Here she's walking in right now. Hey. We're, we're, hey. We're, don't point at him. Where you been? Um, excuse me. Can I help you? We don't allow people to come in late. You got to go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just love the Johnsons. Don't you love the Johnsons in this place? Yes. <sighs> Praise God. Turn into soul winners over there. They're just wanting souls. to. Anybody want to be a soul winner? Yes. Oh, because I got some soul winners in this place. Praise God. I'm just glad that you got a place where you can bring them and not be ashamed. Knowing that when you bring them in, it's going to be awesome. My wife's hurrying me because we got a lot to do. Uh, deep cleaning tomorrow. Whenever my wife will be here by 11:30 ish, so whenever you can come, I know Sister Tara is coming right at that time. Uh, whenever you can come in, we.